hello welcome today we're going to be learning how to install the anaconda that i downloaded in the previous class so that we can start coding in python how do you install when you get to your your system your normal uh drive you can see your local c and see other places click on the download that's where you downloaded the the anaconda so this is the anaconda i'm going to double click on it to install it into my system I already have Anaconda installed, so I'm going to just take you through how to do it. Then when this comes out, click on Next. When this comes out, click on I Agree to agree the license agreement. When this comes out, click on Just Me. When this comes out, just uh, click Next. But because I already installed, I'm going to change this to 2 so that I can get to the next level. If not, it's going to tell me that something is already inside this place because so click on next button. Your own. Don't change anything. Just click on next. So when it gets to this place, very, very important. I wanted to show us here. That's why I am continuing this. It will say as advanced option, add Anaconda to my path variable. Don't use this. Use the second option. Register Anaconda as my default Python C. So this is what you, you click on there. Then once you click on this option, click on install. So once you do that, you've uh, installed Anaconda. Wait for it to finish installing. So that is how to install Anaconda in order for you to get Jupyter Notebook in your system. So that you can start uh, programming in Python. Uh, thank you for listening. Please click on the subscribe button on this side of the screen. If you like this video, share and like this video. Share it to your friends so that they can see it. Uh, in subsequent classes, we are going to be learning how to start our first program using Jupyter Notebook. How to start our first program using Jupyter Notebook so that we can quickly start coding Python and other programming languages using Jupyter Notebook. Um, Jupyter Notebook is very, very good if you want to start coding in, if you want to start data science or artificial intelligence. In the later part of this uh, classes, we are going to be teaching our students on how to create robots how to use artificial intelligence, how to do data sciences, how to use matplotlib and use other libraries in Python to do very, very good things. How to incorporate Python with MATLAB to do engineering analysis and how to do some beautiful, beautiful things that you need to know as an engineer or as a science student or as a scientist or as a, a programmer. So make sure you tighten in your seatbelt. If you have any questions regarding this, please drop it on the comment section. Like, share our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can always get uh, all our videos whenever we drop them. So that is how we're going to be going. We've done.